the bar is dirty. There's uh, people don't use coasters, so there's uh, marks on the tables. <gasps> yes, terrible. <clears throat> and uh, there's a whole bunch of people in there. It's not overly crowded, but it's uh, well, nice hum of uh, conversations going on. Okay. Um, we look for our emo. Uh, Yellow walks over to the barkeep, I suppose, and uh, asks if he has seen a uh, quite pale black haired guy. Australian in, accent. Sideburns. Yeah, in which he would have, I would suppose, it's a couple of days since he has arrived or something. Or anyway. Well, we don't really know. <laughs> no, but. He wasn't directly going here, right? Well, we don't know that either. So the robot oh. behind the counter goes, "Nah, haven't seen anyone like that around here." Elon Sorry. leans over. Elon leans over and looks into his eyes and says, "Don't you have photographic memory?" His eyes. It's basically just like a a, a camera, and when you lean in, it goes. Zzzt. Yeah. And to just to look at you, and so, he goes, so. "Sorry, my programming is pretty poor. Do you like a drink?" Oh, I that's honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being a human saying, "Sorry, my dick's like two inches." You know, name. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you went on that one. <laughs> Count what that is his name? <laughs> But uh, is there anyone who actually remembers? Uh, give us a second. Uh, yes, tr tr Trickris. Trickris. <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's a weird does, name. Does, does the name Trickris uh, rings any bells? She type spells it out like that. Oh. Uh. Trickris. Hmm. Check your database. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> a loading bar appears on the bar on the console that is on his uh, chest. <laughs> loading, loading. <laughs> Trick, Chris. And he goes, ah, oh, he was uh, ordered a drink a couple of days ago. A week, in fact. Of. Uh, no. No, that's, that, that's when he was here and picked up me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you would like a drink? I would like a drink of information. <laughs> Do you have some blue space milk? Ah. Sure do. <laughs> and like cracks a... Uh, cracks open a glass... Well, a plastic bottle, actually. And uh, hands it to you. Um, and it, it goes... Wow. You're a credit. I want to like... Five. Jesus. <laughs> It's gotten real, real realistic right now. <laughs> I missed everything. I, I, I think the robot asked me for five credits. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. It's uh -huh. like half a liter that you got in a bottle. <clears throat> well, uh, I want to like <clears throat> ask you around a bit and see if anyone has like seen anyone with that description. Can I roll like a streetwise thing for that? Yep. Uh, I think that at least one of us should stay here at the bar and okay, in case if he comes back. Well, Box is gonna go around and ask around a bit and see if she can figure something out on the streets. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Weed needs wacky. Yeah, I'll roll a streetwise here. Uh... Well, that is just one success, though. Wait. So, all right. The name Trick Riss and his description gets you. Uh, not a whole lot of answers, but it seems to be known by a couple of guys who uh, he worked for them and he just 
quickly changed uh, employers. Like, he, as you thought, he is a freelancer. And uh, you ask him, you ask them if they've seen him, and they haven't. Can I can I figure anything out about the uh, the androids and his connection to them? <clears throat> uh, they speculate that uh, they may be some of his his uh, uh, enemies he, that he may have caused trouble for. It's pretty shitty speculation. <clears throat> One of many, they say. Uh, they kind of go androids. I haven't really heard about those guys. And <laughs> they just laugh and they go, Ha! Huh, that captain, huh? That captain. Do I know anything about, like, androids in general? You know, like, are they common? Um... Uh, <clears throat> like, robots and androids are common. But, like, as, as like, organized, not as a... Um, household uh, <laughs> organized is special, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's unusual. So no one, uh, no answers. I mean, the guy, you were kind of lucky because the guy's uh, one guy. He seems to have some contact with uh, the captain, but he hasn't seen him. <coughs> so, uh, Elon uh, signals the barkeep back, and he would like to ask if he has seen any androids in which they would fit the description, I suppose, of what he saw on the ship. Hmm. So those androids you saw were uh, pretty metallic looking. Uh, like uh, grey parts yeah. and metallic skin. Like, not skin, just, you know, parts. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, you give him, give the bartender that description. Yeah. There's loads around here. And he just points oh. at uh, a couple in the bar who uh, seems to be common uh, bodyguards and. Uh, yeah. Sure. <coughs> uh, I guess I go up to Helian and I say that I suggest we. First of all, try to ta talk to Smippy and see if she knows anything about these people. I mean, she's been with the captain for a while. And if not, we could wait around for a couple of days. I could try to ask around again, see if we find anything. And and then I guess we just assume he's dead and take over the ship. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Helion says that he wants to talk to the uh, authorities on this space station and you can do that uh, meanwhile you are talking to Snippy and yeah okay. and we will meet back up at the bar in blah blah hours or something <laughs> blah blah hours okay it's the origin security I'm gonna nudge uh, Helion and say hey spooky this is the bird Elon kind of goes, what? I point at our, our uh, quill. Hey, what? What's, What's going on? What about him? The hell is he? <laughs> well. I'm an avian. I say, we're not paying you. Elon <laughs> kind of smirks and, well, we're not paying you either, so... <laughs> You dirty Mexican? No. <laughs> no. I look at you, I say, I fucking work here. <laughs> Quinn looks confused. 
I'm gonna make the argument like, would you be happy if some fucker just came in and took your job? It's like I do it better than you. We just kicked you out. Wow. Just wow. I mean, we technically already have a pilot. She's just bad, dude. He he walks over to Quill and puts a hand on his shoulder and says, "Don't worry about it." (laughs) You good? That that guy's weird. Yeah. And by the way, Helen looks back over to the hall and asks if he wants to join him and talk to that authorities. Because, well, Helen doesn't really trust authorities. <clears throat> so he wants some protection. I'm going to shrug my shoulders and follow along. I'm still playing with the paddle. So, uh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Box does not want to talk to the authorities. So she goes back to the ship. Yeah. Uh, Quill, who do you want to go with? Or do you want to just chill at the bar? Uh, no, uh, Quill is chilling at the bar. It's been a long day. Well, Box tells you to look out for like an Australian emo vampire. That sounds very specific. I should, I should think I should notice that. <laughs> There's literally no way to fucking miss him. Does he sparkle? Not far off, mate. <laughs> Not as far as we're aware, but he is short, pale, has like black uh, anime spiky hair. We haven't seen him, seen him in sunlight in. yet, so we don't really know. Yeah, we're Ooh, not sure. 13. He didn't He didn't want to go out in the sunlight, though, while we were doing our mission, so maybe. Well, I mean, uh, he was in space. He had to look at the sun at some point. Yeah. Not necessarily. Well, there's a big fucking window in the front of the ship, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, we're not there at all points of time. By the way, is it a window or is it just a screen of sorts? On the spaceship? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a window. Okay. That seems <laughs> all the very risky. Is it a. <laughs> it's not it's glass. It's just a regular glass window. Yeah, but is it a augmented window with. Uh, graphics on it and stuff? No, all the holograms and graphics are on a whole bunch of screens on the seats and on the walls. So if we are actually getting into combat, we can't use the windshield for anything else than just look through? Yeah. Okay. Very well. So, you head on over to Origin Security? (coughs) Yeah. There's a couple of desks, not particularly busy. Okay. There's people at the desk, receptionists and stuff. Uh, so Helion walks over and tries to gather information about uh, robots and emo vampires and all that good stuff. Wait, Sigurd, so does, does the emo vampire look like a kid? No, he's old. Oh, okay. Got I was going to say, we're looking for our son. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's, an e- he's in the emo phase. Watching a lot of vampire movies. Oh. He uh, looks a hybrid too. between very a Mexican and... Uh, <laughs> a very progressive couple. <laughs> a Saren? <laughs> <laughs> and both Creates of them are made. <laughs> Who the fuck shit out that kid? <laughs> <laughs> and they got a human Australian emo vampire. <laughs> so that's how Australians are made. <laughs> <laughs> Just take an elf and take a Mexican. That's Australian. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. Close enough. Receptionists. Well, was anyone murdered? Um, not as of yet. Yellen says. Missing Sorry, person me report know. then. Yeah. Here. And he hands you a data pad for you to sign, and uh, uh there will be a bulletin then. So Where? On this station or every station? Ever. Uh, we'll try to get we the sector security in on it. But okay. uh, we'll, we'll... Our guards here. 
We'll be on the lookout, I can promise you that. Okay. So but, we are gonna uh, just send him if you find if, him. If uh, there was a murder, we could speed things along. <coughs> well, there could he, be a murder, we just don't know. He, Helion looks over to the hall. Like, glimpse in his eyes. <laughs> could but, be arranged. <laughs> but right? as there's of now, there's no murder. Uh, well, missing persons are. Uh, it's so common. There's only so much we can do. But you sign that. We will do what we can. So. Is that all? S so he signs it with a fake name. Uh, John's George fake name. Washington. He signs it. Uh, bird person quill. <laughs> <laughs> That's <a story. laughs> <laughs> bird person. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen Rick and Morty yet? N nobody's seen no. Rick and Morty yet. Okay, by bird person Quill. Is that Quill spelled with... Uh, oh, I see, it's two L's. I'll get right on that, Mr. Quill. Very good. This is bird person. <laughs> Medic season has been a trying time. It's <laughs> a fancy fucking hairdo. Where's his beak? That's, that He's is a bird beak. person. Look at his nose. It's got a beak inside of it. <laughs> wow. So, your bulletin is out. You wait, you wait one day. Uh, I guess one, two, or all of you either right. hang out in the bar. Right. Well, I want to talk to Smippy. Yeah. Uh, you go into the spaceship, go to Smippy's room. She is in bed. Smippy, uh, head, wake up. Head on one, sh head on one arm. Head and shoulder. Uh, mouth open. I, uh, uh, whenever you speak to her. Uh, Focus. She like snap your fingers in front of her, and you can see her eyes kind of focus on you, and they kind of go narrow. <laughs> then she goes, "Box, uh. what?" And she falls asleep. I go into the medical area. <laughs> oh God, here we go! I know it's gonna happen. She finds my adrenaline. I want to find whatever I can find of that sort. Yes. Do we have that? <coughs> what? You're gonna murder this fucking what, kid. what are you looking for after? Well, preferably an adrenaline shot. Epinephrine? Of course there's epinephrine in the fucking medical part. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> She's going to have a fucking heart attack though. But... <laughs> wow, I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> oh boy. Oh shit. If you, if you haven't noticed be before, Box is very mission focused. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. You, uh, how large of a dose do you get? A, la a small, medium, or large syringe? Well, do I know anything about this at all? Like, what would be a good idea? <coughs> Should I roll something for this? Like a medical check of some sort? Sure, roll medical. Well, okay, this, that's March, right? Can, can I ask you, do you know anything about how uh, <laughs> the doses are? I have or? no fucking idea. <laughs> no, then I would suppose that your character would neither. That's if you're ain't trained in medical. Well, that's why we're checking, because I don't have jack-of-all-trades in real life. It smarts. Then jack-of-all-trades. I'm going to re-roll that. I'm going to re-roll that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Can I give him some fucking coins, please? No. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, Someone's going to die. Fuck then. it. We're testing a medium one. <laughs> Jesus. When in doubt, go medium. That's my motto. Hey, baby. How do you like a medium kind of guy? All right. <clears throat> uh, I assume... More for like, it was more for like size of clothes and stuff like that, but it applies. <laughs> I assume I this... Any of the drugs. I assume this all happens while uh, Helian and Quill... No, Helian and uh, Doll. Right, yeah. the security office, right. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it instantly. <coughs> the, this, there is no seven smithy. Right, a medium syringe. You s uh, roll medical. Well, that's the same thing, right? <coughs> yep. <laughs> wow. Okay, so Yeah, you find the vein that the thing goes through. Of a plant? Okay. Uh, I was so don't... hoping that you would just stab her in the heart or something. <laughs> just stab her in the fucking eye. <clears throat> so. Whoops, that's not a vein. She stabbed. You uh, administered the uh, adrenaline. Mm hmm. Uh, do you guys. Christian, do you know how fast adrenaline works? It's pretty immediately. Okay. Uh, like seconds pass? She's just there, on her bed, uh, eyes lazily looking, you know, at the wall, whichever way she's facing in bed. A couple of seconds more pass, minutes pass, and she's oh just God. not reacting. She's just still lying there. She's still alive. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> Check her okay, we're done! <laughs> Check her plant pulse. <laughs> Wow. Does she have a pulse? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, she has a pulse. She's alive. <gasps> okay. <laughs> uh, the pulse is huge. Fast. <laughs> 600 per minute. But, ah. uh, but uh, actually, roll medical again if you want some more information. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> You're so fucked up. Oh god. You're so screwed. Um, no, you. We have two people who murders people, not me though. I don't. I don't like well, doing that. We can put murder on the. This, this, this is this is not murder. This is mass slaughter. <laughs> Big difference. You mean so plant slaughter? This is called being a piece of shit. Yeah, that means accidental. <laughs> accidental death is like if you hit someone with a car, but not intentionally hit them with a car. I think this is considered assisted hmm? suicide. <laughs> yeah, her life was crap. <laughs> it's... She did choose to take those blood drugs. Um, you take your pulse, and it's higher than normal, as it should be, mm -hmm. when you give adrenaline. But more than that, you don't know. Oh, this is good. I slap her. Real good. You slap her, and she just jerks in bed. And uh, that's that's, that's kind of gross, Skid. I. I... He said jerks, not jerks off. So, nothing happens. She's just lying in bed. You can have a Benny, by the way, for the <laughs> admirable attempt. The severe embarrassing rolls. <laughs> huh. You just wasted one strange of epinephrine, you know. This is not <laughs> looking good for you. <laughs> you just throw the needle on the floor? $10,000. No. Remember, uh, uh, we're over like a crevasse like this, right? Uh, you can throw it over the crevice like that if you yeah, go outside just, again. I would like open the hangar door and drop it down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you don't have a spacesuit on. You want to roll to not suffocate and get dragged out? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> no, no. You how just does, you throw it away. <laughs> how does that work? Does, does it look like this? Oh yeah, if you go, yeah, if you go into. So, I mean, the... if you could, if you could walk out, I mean, you wouldn't like start to get dragged out under it. Oh, I thought you were talking about the hangar doors on or the hangar. But yeah, you can throw it, discard it like that. That's fine. I actually just want to get it out of the ship, but not like on the floor, you know. <laughs> oh no, those get those dangerous adrenaline drugs syringes off the ship. Well, falls in this guy's head. Mm. Well, that didn't work. Let's mm. see. No, let's do that later. Well, what do you do? Oh crap! Um, I um, I want to carry maybe over to the to the medical thing. Maybe I should get like one of those. Uh, do we have a thing to put her on? <laughs> yeah, there's a strange. This never end. 
Yep. You can probably carry her. Okay, oh. I want to get her to the medical bay. <laughs> yep. I want to turn on the stupid UV light thing. <laughs> oh, last efforts. Yeah, she got. She's laying there, just like. Oh. Uh, nothing else happens. I want to get a bu bucket of water. <laughs> I'm sure you can do that. Water the plant. Oh, has she been in well, the sun? Well, I mean, it's pretty <laughs> obvious where this is going, so. <laughs> You throw yeah. the water on her? More pour it, because I don't want to get it on all the medical stuff. <laughs> okay. Alright, fine. I think that warrants a bigger roll. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, she's not responding. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so what? close to just throwing Smippy out with the slurs. <laughs> Just because you're shitty at medicine. Well, I mean, I managed to get the fucking needle in. I feel you like she chose should... the wrong profession. Just admit it. Well, I not. I don't think I did because I'm not the doctor. So. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, so what the fuck are you doing? You guys sir, are probably sir. down at the security office by now. Trying to get her to wake up. Well, I fucking give up. I was like, certainly, you have made some bad choices in your life. So far, <laughs> especially in the last five minutes. <laughs> Who me? <clears throat> no. Box goes to the engineering bay co and contemplates making like a shocking device. <laughs> Tell us, Quill, and all of this is he just waiting at the bar? Uh, his done with his drink. Is probably going back to the ship by now. Are we going back as well? Uh, and the hall? Or do you want to do something? <laughs> Um, Dahl can't think of anything he wants to do except play paddle ball, so he's like, let's just go back to the ship. Sure. What's the deal with the paddle and the ball? It's very boring in space. <laughs> and you paid fucking thousand percent over the usual price for a fucking engraved fancy ball paddle. <laughs> At least it'll never get killed or break. I, I just realized that I could have just looked up the dosage on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a, an idea to remember. You could have looked up the dosage in game. You have space, Google. Yeah, that was what I meant. Like I meant in game, like not. I am not gonna cheat out of out of game. Uh, <clears throat> well, it's so easy to get the perfect. That's dose. what I meant. I I even have internet on my fucking wrist computer. Damn. Oh, well. A stress situation. Is the first thing that you do, Helian, is to go back to medical. I don't think that Helian would just head straight to medical. I think he would just go to his room and read his book. <laughs> because well if there's no sign of anything happening or anything out of the ordinary in medical I don't think it would just head on straight in there unless someone <coughs> would say anything nope um, if, if Quill goes through the living quarters he will probably ask Where's that plant guy? Plant guy? Oh, I don't think we've she would be in her room, though. First. Not like out in the living quarters. Like. Okay, no, then it, then it wouldn't. Oh, yeah. I'm security, right? I figure I should go check on Smippy. <laughs> <laughs> Smippy! Is, is, that, is that your job? <laughs> to just make sure everyone's so not dead. Game. Smippy's dying. <laughs> Smippy outranks everyone, actually. Smippy, oh, really? is not in, Smippy is not in her room. Doll. I'm gonna ask around. Hey, where's Smippy? <laughs> no, I said I was in the engineering bay. I mean, you're better gaming. This is fucked. But I'm staying to the game. I said I was in the engineering bay, so I'm gonna be there. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just the way it looks. It's like, hey, where's Smippy? You just run away. <laughs> I'm gonna go knock on Helian's door. Oh, yeah. What is? What is it? We have a bit of a problem. What is it now? Smippy. She's uh, not in her room. Well, 
she didn't <laughs> she wasn't in any state to actually move anywhere so where the fuck have you who has done it <laughs> who has taken her maybe she got into your stash <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna follow you like this. Did you put a blanket on Smippy or did you just dump her on the table? Just dump her out in the syringe. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 she's just dumped here because okay. yeah, I'm trying to give her sun. Yeah. She, you see Smippy lying on a bed with uh, the UV light on full. Wow. <clears throat> and, oh, what happened here? Uh, First like person is this you're doing? There's like water on the floor, and there uh, just like seems like someone's been messing around. I just got here. I got here at the same time as you. Oh, that fucking engineer. He uh, looks around and just takes it all in and sighs. <laughs> and he connects the EKG meters meter to uh, Snippy, and he wants to look at her pulse. It is really. She's not dead already. She's not dead. She's alive. Uh, the pulse is higher than it's been previously. When you I'm gonna in. inquire. Which is to be expected. Yeah, after so being much. drugged out for a couple of days, it's ex <laughs> wow. What? No, it is. I mean, she's been, she, her pulse was really shitty, right? Remember. <laughs> Well, not fast. So if she's recovering, then her pulse would be higher, logically. Yeah, but is it higher than normal? It's adrenaline. He said, you don't know that. And he said it would be higher than it has been, is what he said. Yeah, it's higher than it has been. I wouldn't was... know if what's, what's normal and what's not. <laughs> hmm? You would know what's normal. Yeah, so is it higher than normal? Yeah. Uh, for, for her... Yeah, for her. Yeah, it's higher than normal. Is it dangerous? Uh, is it really <clears throat> dangerous? No. Dangerous? No, it's not. Uh, well, I suppose that he will try to wake her up. <laughs> How? Kick her off the table. Nothing extreme though. He's just trying to <laughs> wake up you fat shit. Kind of shake her and something like that. <laughs> no response. Hmm. I'm gonna ask, is she dead? She is not responding, but she ain't dead though, so Are any of your supplies missing? <laughs> That's a real leading question, you know. <laughs> You're oh, metagaming just... so hard, like so fucking hard. Well, I'm suspicious that you fucked with our plant person because uh. she just magically teleported to the medical room. Yeah, yeah, which is the first thing you check as well. It's like, oh, I'm gonna go into the room and see. <laughs> I if she's checked there. if she was dead, and now she's not moving. You haven't but checked, she's alive. like, you haven't checked at no, 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 but you haven't checked her room, like, at one a single point. Like, at, I did. I said I'm gonna go check. Uh, he told me she wasn't there. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, at no other point have you checked that, so that's not the natural thing for you to do. And then, like, now you instantly go and check, and then you ask for medical supplies and stuff. That is metagaming. Like, well, now I know we have a pilot. I was talking about our fucking old pilot in the bar. So, naturally, I would have Smippy on the mind now. <laughs> sure. Smippy is too good for you guys. <laughs> She's a piece of shit, that's what she She's is. She's almost fucking dead. Who the fuck licks her fingers after being in a drug cave? Listen, I played Starbound, so I know the shit. Well, uh, Elon looks over to, uh, I would suppose, the hall and Quill and says that we should get her to a medical center. So, fetch the stretcher and call the police. We have a stretcher? <laughs> yeah. Where is it? It's a hover stretcher. Oh. I like how everything we have is it's, it's, it's a space stretcher, I would suppose. That's do everything I, else do in space. I cut the metal man and actually get her to a hospital? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you uh, put her on the stretcher, get her to the hangar. <coughs> uh, no, yeah, you get her to the exit. 
There's a little uh, transport vehicle that uh, picks her up and they ask, all ask you for details. Uh, he announces that she got in contact with some some uh, anesthesiacs, and she was almost well. She was really high for a couple of days, and now know that her pulse has stab- stabilized. It's really high, and that's not natural. Uh, take uh, the. One of the guys who was uh, picking her up goes, uh-huh, uh-huh, and like, jots it all down. You, uh, how do we contact you? I guess he asks for calm details and, uh, you know. Uh, <clears throat> is that something that I would know, or do you have to call box? You probably have, uh, you know, do you have a phone number? Yeah, but is it inscribed on my com device? Yeah, it probably. Is. Uh, your com your com unit has pretty shitty range, though. Just FYI. Okay, could I just give the? You the, probably want to connect it to the ship, or yeah, the or even boxes uh, like radio. Yeah. You yeah, give I, them. I do that. Give them those details, and they say, "Ah, oh, this." Not really sure yet, but uh, all you you'll hear from us. In a couple of <laughs> days. Well, I hope so. <laughs> and so. Uh, they take her away. Sure. Oh okay, yeah. So I was. I think Helen walks inside medical and cleans up all the water <laughs> and the bed and everything and turns off the fucking light. <laughs> And uh, yeah, just pressing. Yeah, that's so two w- crew members down. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, who's the first one? I forgot. It's a fucking pirate. Hmm? Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot he's not dead. By the way, is in there? Mm-hmm. You should know that Elon does inventory. So <laughs> <laughs> sometime in the future. It will be noticed. Go for it. Well, I was thinking maybe it wasn't such a good idea to join this trip. (laughs) You're still not getting paid. (laughs) I can fly. What can you do? I can shoot people. (laughs) Well, so can I. I can't. He says and he walks out. Does he run away like crying? Because he can't, or? <laughs> oh. You guys are so mean. It's, there's nothing it's unusual that. about his mood. He's it's just frowning and hunches his back and goes to his living quarters. I bet I can draw faster than you, amigo. You can what? <laughs> draw faster than you. I bet you can. Do you even have a gun on you? Yeah. I'll have you know, I have the best agility, as I am Mexican by nature. (laughs) Well, I am uh, broadly in my nature. (laughs) You're an an early bird. (laughs) Oh, shit. Roll agility, Quill. Uh... Wow. Yes. You draw your gun faster than the Mexican. You got him dead to rights. <laughs> nah. Okay, too bad. I'm not gonna shoot ya. I just wanna bash your fucking brains. I'm gonna say, yeah, I know you're not. The safety's on. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just gonna... No, it isn't. While he's like checking him to snatch his gun, like they do in Metal Gear. <laughs> Roll fighting, but uh, you gotta beat his parry. Roll fighting at a min- minus two. Excuse me? Yeah, I can do a robotic. Roll fighting at a minus two if you wanna grab his gun. 
or is what that, do I roll? Or is that just in your mind? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna roll that. <laughs> Fight, fighting at a minus two. So what do I roll for that? Fighting at a minus two. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Uh, what's your parry, Quill? Um, uh, it is six. Shit. You miss. Yeah. I can't do one-on-ones with anyone. <laughs> Too slow. Amigo. That's, uh... A couple of days are gonna pass if you guys are just gonna. Well, by the way, before um, the time skip, uh, after checking Facebook, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gotta <laughs> update my wall here! <laughs> space space. And. Uh, <laughs> you sure it isn't my space? <laughs> no, it's Facebook. Uh, he goes to the. He then goes to the comms and. Uh, uh, calls over uh, box to the captain's office or whatever. The bridge. The bridge. Oh. Yeah. Cockpit. <coughs> no one responds. Uh, uh, no. I press. They're not. So. AI. Mm. Blast the engine room. Uh, so, Elon goes on the artificial intelligence and s asks how many life forms there are on the ship right now. Could we could we actually trace their comlinks and see how many there's on? Uh, I can on say board? that you guys know if you guys have your comms on you can track your uh, movements on the ship through the bridge. And there are four life forms. Sure. So, Helen tries again uh, to call up box, box. Sindra, are you there? Oh, right, sorry, I was muted. <laughs> no, I didn't say that much. I was just asking what the hell you said because I didn't pay attention. Huh? How much shit talking were you saying? I assumed that was. So you wanted me up the bridge or something? Yeah. <laughs> so he turns around in his chair <laughs> and uh, uh, crawls on the ceiling and uh, <laughs> as is tradition magnetizes the ball Helen asks uh, Box uh, so what did the plant say <laughs> uh -huh. Um, something along the lines of, uh, well, not very informative. Not really unusual. So, no, I figured she was dying, so, you know, sunlight, water, that usually works on plants. Is that why there's water in my medical quarters? That seems likely, yes. What did you do? <laughs> huh? Wait, threw water on her. In my medical quarters? Well, I mean, she was already there. Was that her bed? So, how the fuck did she get over to medical? Well, I moved her over to medical to get sunlight. Ah. Well... Because I remember talking about her potentially dying if she didn't get some, right? Yeah. I think everyone forgot. So, what the fuck? Did you not clean up on the floor <laughs> after you? <laughs> <laughs> but I figured she would, you know, like, use it to take roots and then use the moisture in the ground. All right. That's what plants do. So, I think that Dylan doesn't <laughs> buy uh, this whole story, but he says thank you very sad, sarcastically and walks off. 
I will remind you that there are job boards oh. on the space on the station. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Time skip. One of you doesn't really matter. Uh, I kind of uh, do a little stakeout at the bar. A day passes. The captain does not show up. Another day passes. The captain does not show up. You get a call from uh, medical center of origin station. Uh, they update you on the status of uh, Smithy. She is slowly recovering. Oh, this is to you, Hel Helion. They said that uh, her heart rate was abnormally high, but also abnormally low. And they could only speculate that uh, someone was stupid enough to give her some adrenaline while she was on a anesthesiac, really powerful <laughs> anesthesiac. But she's recovering. She will be out. What, what kind of anesthesia knocks out people for several days without killing them? <laughs> you know, the sort that numbs a whole fucking living ship. <laughs> the, uh, that kind? <clears throat> Space drugs? We had this conversation last time, you know? No, I didn't. You see, Lux isn't there. No. <clears throat> so, uh, yes, a couple of days and she will be transferred back to uh, you. Where's okay. the where's the limit? Another day, the third day comes around, the captain does not show up. Another day mm. passes. Ah, uh, say let's do something. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, Elon goes and check if all his uh, epinephrine syringes <laughs> are... Uh, that's, that's what you've been doing? Been all disturbed. Right. You can all notice. Uh. Notice this smarts, I know. Yeah. <laughs> there is exactly one medium size epidephre adrenaline syringe missing. And you looked everywhere on the ship for the uh for the leftover syringe, you know? And you just can't find it. You're absolutely sure you looked everywhere. Mm. Figures. <clears throat> so what do you do, all of you? Wanna look for a job? Yeah. I'm just doing what I usually do in living quarters. Do I have a living qu a room <laughs> in living quarters? <laughs> we have uh, many rooms. You have to pay rent though. Did you just you got a bunk bed somewhere? <laughs> I mean, Quill, you can you clearly know and you. You know? I'll just build a nest on top of the re the reactors. <laughs> hey, hey, that that that's not supposed to be that warm. <laughs> well, you monster. can probably get a, qu a quarter access to one room. That is uh has room for a cabinet, a wardrobe, a wardrobe, and a uh, maybe. A small desk and a chair and a bed. Really small desk. <clears throat> and uh, let me find the thing you guys... Uh, well, I guess it's just Box who looks for a job. Oh, and Box, did you pay attention to the news? Huh? Oh, uh, no, actually. During one of the days we were uh, hanging out at the bar. <laughs> It was a little update on a event, uh, like a little news flash. <clears throat> um, that goes, there are no new updates on the three killings that took place on the planet designated BD-43-6702N. The, min the miners and the leaders of Mining Mutual uh, I put up a bounty on any information regarding uh, these individuals. The perpetrators are suspected to be to still be at large, and uh, they may have mined several crates worth of ore. 
I don't know which one of you <laughs> looked at Jokes that. Jokes on them, we didn't mine ore at all, we got minerals. <laughs> I don't know which one of you watched that news report, but, uh, you know, it was out there. Well, um... The job. But this is good, now we have something to pin. Now we can pin this on someone if we meet someone we don't like. That's good. <laughs> We know all the details, so it'd be easy. So, <clears throat> you get a job that involves... Uh, it's offered by Jacobi Dynamics, and it, it involves repairing four different comm arrays that bounce signals for uh, communication between uh, planets and star bases. You're gonna have Easy. To, you're gonna have to repair four of them, and well, you don't have to. It says you get one thousand seven hundred credits for each you repair. Four total. Total. Well, how far away are they? We have to pay for fuel <coughs> and stuff. Ah, yes. Let me do that. You. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you take the job? What do you do? Well, we have to estimate how far we would have to go by ship first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven hexes. Here, I'll go. Hmm? <coughs> I oh. made you. You're living quarters. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So I'm I thought that was something else. <laughs> Which means, uh, uh, what, 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 what? How is this calculated again? Like in terms of um, uh, the answer I get after calculating, you know, grid times d6. Um, what, what is that? Is that hours? Yes. So you do. Okay. How much is a unit of fuel? Uh, it's one day. Yeah, but yeah, I know that. But how many? Uh, uh, how much does it cost for one day of fuel? Ah. Trying to calculate if it's worth it for us to go. That's uh, it's 100 times the ship's size, which is 8. But you read through the contract and it says they'll cover half the energy, half the fuel expenses for you. Okay, um, but there's a hundred time, times what now? A uh, hundred times your ship's size, which is eight. Ship size is what? Eight. Eight? Okay, so a hundred times eight there, which would give us there um, for one unit. <laughs> eight hundred. Yeah, I, I know that. Divided by two is four hundred. Yeah, I'm <coughs> not an idiot. <laughs> what? I, st I study fucking economics. I think I can do like basic budgeting. Do you share? The, is it just? I guess you're sharing this. Well, or? I mean, it, it's a worst worst case scenario. No, but that's that's what I'm thinking here. Like worst case scenario, we would have to pay almost. Like, would would uh, in this mission we'd have to pay twelve hundred. Um. For it, and how much do we get each? One, one seven fifty, or something? One seven hundred. For was each array. Yeah, one seven fifty. Yeah, no one seven. One seven. Okay. So one thousand seven hundred. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, okay. So worst case scenario, we're up like five point five. So that's pretty decent. I suggest we take it. But uh, what do we like? What's the size of these things? Do we need anything specific to repair them? Uh, it says that 
but you don't need anything specific. Some of them need a, some of them need to be rebooted, uh, but they're unsure because the uh, diagnostics that they got, that they received from them before they went offline, was uh, incomplete. They also warned that uh, the com array. 316 is a little bit bigger. These arrays are a uh, small size and you get some advice if you want to repair and reboot them. You're gonna have to take a... you have to go EVA and you basically take a little path into the core of the array. There you find a little console to reboot it if that is necessary. Well, it seems like Box is the only person fitted for this job, so at least one of us, or perhaps two of us, could stay back while you guys yeah. do this. And we will uh, <coughs> wait for uh, Schmippy and uh, eventually the captain, I suppose. You yeah, don't this need security. I guess I could stay. I was about to ask, does it say anything about the need for security? <laughs> it does not. It warns about <clears throat> some of the reasons why they're offline can either be to malfunctions in the hardware, just yeah, decay. Uh, but other times it says that uh, pirates and looters are oh. used to it's common for them to uh, do these sorts of things to uh, mess with the Maybe comrades. I should go then. You all go? No, I think Elon will stay back behind. Yeah, I, I don't think, think Bird Person needs to go too because we need to fly the ship, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think okay. So Box needs to go to fix the stuff. Uh, oh. We need Bird Person to go to. Uh, I would recommend all of you go to fly. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, but then we need. Uh, then we need. Uh, well, uh, what we need. Uh, we probably need all to come as well to you know kill people. Well, we um, supposedly need Elon as well because the hyperdrive thing. We also need it. Oh right, we need to plot case. the fucking course. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you need Helion because he's the only one who can plot the fucking quantum coordinates. We're all necessary, guys. <laughs> <sighs> well, is. Maybe back in the ship, or is this maybe still in the hospital? Should we wait for her, perhaps? Those are the different outcomes I see anyway, from like based on our luck. Cool. Hmm. All right. Now you get a message from. I mean, if you chime into medical uh, on the origin, they go, ah, so maybe it's not really. F uh, sh no. They won't release her. Just are, are we paying anything for like uh, for the stay? Yeah, for saying. Is there space Obamacare? Is what he's saying? No, uh, no I, uh, I'm not meaning for the medical crap. Fuck that. Well, but uh, <laughs> the uh, docking the ship. Uh, seems like it's covered for now. Okay. Which array Space do you go to first? Uh, I say we. I, I box suggests we go do this. Yeah, sure. Yes, we don't have anything better to do anyway. So. Yeah, that's kind of kind of what I was thinking. Uh, Doing the research to do. Right. Uh, well, Helion is our nav person, so. Are you ready to engage warp drive? <laughs> Yeah. What do you go to? Which one do you go to first? Red, blue, green, and then the orange, maybe. Do a. Yeah, that's what I calculated anyway. Something like this. Yeah, let's go uh, to the red wait, one which first. Which one is the dangerous one? Just, like, what the fuck was that? The no, they didn't specify 
anything. They didn't specify which one was dangerous, but the big oh. one was the blue one. Okay. Right. Alright, oh, right. that's what I meant. Maybe I could just... Uh... Let's save easy for last so we don't break our spirits. <laughs> it's already broken, mate. <laughs> Started the game with a broken spirit. Uh -huh. Woke up, I just uh -huh. want to die. One, two, three. <laughs> Woke up, couldn't five, wake up. Six. <laughs> seven, Not eight, inside nine, anyway. Ten. And then eleven over here. I <laughs> woke up and I still had a nightmare. It was my, <laughs> it was my life. <laughs> I put on the nightmare vision goggles and everything looked the same. I'm not wrong in this, right? Like, it would be 11, right? Cause it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 11, and then jump gate, right? Am I the only one where the map is kind of fucked up? It is? Not fucked up? Like, the yellow calm is, like, off the map. What? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, it's on the map for me. No, it's like... Uh, the space map is kind of halfway over the Shay sheet. What? Yeah, no, it just says That's... no is free. Just try to rejoin. This is how it looks for me. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> for me, all the all the all the comms are like like down below Nicholas. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna refresh roll 20. <laughs> so, your travel time from Origin to the first calm? Which would be what? The red one? It's the one on the top, I think. Top left. Yeah, but um, Helian is the one who has to roll the d6 string. Yeah, oh. but. Are we. Decided in the course of action. Yeah, we're gonna go so. one by one, starting with red one. Sure. Okay. Make a banana shape. Ah, uh, still no fail. You jump. Yeah. And. <sighs> well, Helen plots in the coordinates and goes to his room and does some more research. Until next time. <laughs> yeah, it takes about... His job is done. Takes about... About uh, six hours. And you will arrive at the comrade designated. This is your captain speaking. <laughs> 73. <laughs> <laughs> the fight will take approximately six hours. Fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> you could totally it's program be a the AI. Ride. <laughs> you totally program the AI to do that, Quill. Just so. <laughs> or he just does it himself, like holds over his beak and like speaks with the <laughs> microphone. <laughs> Which one of these is easier? <laughs> Outside, it's pretty much one hundred negative degrees. <laughs> to the right, you can see nothing. To the right is space, to the left is space. <laughs> Some more. In front space. of us, the sun. <laughs> the mirror the night is to the small space odyssey. Is that supposed to be there? Helion? <laughs> <laughs> is that supposed to be there? <laughs> <laughs> the night's movie is Space Jam. <laughs> oh. So, <clears throat> you are gonna arrive at the calm, the first calm. Who is at the bridge when you exit the jump? Oh, uh, I am. Box wants to look at it, and I assume our pilot is. I guess I'm in the living quarters. I don't know why I would still be medical. I think uh, Helion actually wants to figure out what uh, or do an anal analysis of the fucking glorium. Sure, you have well, uh, six hours to do that, so... Yeah. Uh, now... First off, I bet you want to roll some knowledge for that? Uh, yeah. What kind? <clears throat> uh, let me see... Uh, 
Uh, I think uh, material sciences, which in com- includes chemistry and uh, yeah. Okay, you can roll that first, and then you can roll notice afterwards. Yeah. Sure. No, wait. Yeah, roll, roll the knowledge first, and then you can roll medical afterwards. This one should have said. Are you sure? Yes. Okay then. What? That's <laughs> two what aces. What the fuck? How many successes is that? <laughs> he learns the secrets of the universe. Fuck. That's. 34 target number for that that's like eight successes that's eight, yeah. <laughs> he knows the shit right what the fuck you can roll medical with a plus four <coughs> what <laughs> oh god and turns out to be useless because the wild dies he learns how to cure cancer so, you find out that uh, this mineral, this little salt, or what have you, is pretty strong. What do you know? And yeah. um, if you just take like a small pebble and you just kind of pinch it with your arm or your hand. Glowed hand. Yeah, but it's just a theory you get. Okay. Is uh, if you just pinch it between your fingers like that, it would numb your hand, and it would uh, s- just put you in a really drowsy state. It would calm you down significantly. Okay. <sighs> and uh, that was just a small piece of it. So you try to refine it in a bunch of different forms, like gas. And uh, liquid. And um, even though it's processed and refined and filtered, it's really fucking strong. Is there anything more? Uh. I guess you find out that it's not exactly dangerous if you take it in small doses. Like no. every drug. I think Myth. that uh, Elon would pack it up and store it somewhere in his laboratory. Okay. You do that. <coughs> sure. <coughs> right, up to you guys on the bridge. At this first com array. Uh, yeah, how does it look? Like, uh, like Final Frontier. Like that. Except it's really pixelated for me. It's trying to load in. It's fine for me. Hmm. Right, so it looks like that really should be. Is there likes anything it. to like can I go in to this or is this like an outside job? Um Could you dock at it? No, you can't dock. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can dock. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Why don't you give me a roll for that? I I, I can't fix anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, you arrive, you kind of look out the uh, viewport. And uh, do you have... Uh, do you launch any scanners? Do you have your comms set to open? Your ship comms? Ship comms? As in, if you were in uh, just around a station. If you set it to open, you would basically get chatter from everyone. Like a radio, you know? Oh wait, wait about that? Sorry. Uh, you guys doing any scans, or are you? Oh, I guess that's not me anyway. Oh, well, okay. You well, have to ask if you want the scans. So. So, but your comms, you like your ship's radio? Is it set to a private channel, or is it set to an open channel? Uh, I would say we would. Uh, receive whatever we could in terms of like distress signals and stuff like that be uh, nice to know wouldn't it make sense that if uh, that we had two channels one from for a long distance and one for the ship 
uh, yeah. But I'm asking if that thing on the long distance would be um, open. Which Box said was... Uh, it was. So. You can hear some chatter. Radio uh, Moscow. You hear two people talking. One uh, one asks, hey, uh, is your p spacesuit uh, alright? Uh, be sure it's patched up and everything. <sighs> the other guy responds, ah. Kill the other repairman! <laughs> the other guy says, ah, oh, yeah, it's fine. I, I've had a look at I got to look that it's hell. I'll get this fixed in the flash. Can we just slap and them? And they <laughs> and I guess you uh, fly closer, and B you can B see. Book says, <gasps> "People are trying to steal our job." <laughs> you can now clearly see. You get like a warning, or like your targeti tar targeting on your ship goes off, and it, you you see a ship uh, that's close to this uh, array. How big is it? Uh, small. Compared to ours. Very small. Like you can see the the cop the cockpit is one man <laughs> size, and it can probably hold another one. How are our guns? <laughs> is it the size of our shuttle? Uh, it's probably a little bit smaller than your shuttle. Wow. And how the fuck did they get out here? By jumping. With a little piece of shit? How can I fit the warp drive on that? <coughs> Science, man. So you're leaving or what? Memory right? stick. And the other guy goes, oh yeah, I'm just attaching my cable now. Crap. Okay, 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 okay. Um, is everyone else on the bridge? Like, Who's on the bridge here? Is Helian here as well? No. Okay. <laughs> He's well, doing his thing, you know? Now's the question, right? But do we... Well, okay. Uh, uh, well, AI. Tell Helion to get here. Affirmative. And you get a hail over to your comm, Helion, to get over the bridge. Helion. Yeah. He shuffles his way up to the bridge. <laughs> Uh, there are some other people repairing this one. Uh, I guess the question is, do we try to get rid of them, or do we jump to the next one? <laughs> do we, did you only get paid for like, doing all of them, or did we get paid for everyone? Your contract said to repair all of them. <clears throat> but... See, because if they repair this, we're not technically completing our mission. Can we share? <laughs> but why would we need to, though? We could just, I don't know, come up with a lie and scare them away or something. Say we're pirates. Our matey. <laughs> you know, we... And then we will meet them at the bar. At the <laughs> at the this ship doesn't look very piratey. Oh, it does when we start firing up our guns, you know? <coughs> and we just like sit on the comms and yell, "Ah!" We have guns. We have guns, right? Yeah, uh, Quill. You can, you can like, you, you like. We have guns, and then you bring up a little console that has all the weapons of the ship. <laughs> Sorry, but I love that sentiment that fucking space pirates are exactly like Yol pirates from Earth. <laughs> they have like flags on big uh, wooden mast. Yo ho, yo ho. <laughs> Quill is like star, almost starstruck with like the weapons console. Like, oh my god! Uh, you guys are starting to get pretty close now to the ship what, what, and the what, array, unless you stopped. What does this button do? He he lands. He lands. Just fire! <laughs> he lands. Break just, the fucking thing. He yeah. just say that uh, there might be consequences of this, but do whatever you want, and he just walks off. <laughs> <laughs> Box, look at Quill. You can see that uh, one guy is in a spacesuit, and he has this uh, cable attached, and he has this apparatus for uh, uh, this thruster system attached. I mean, we just shot that cable. 
<laughs> he's basically he has some thrusters attached to his spacesuit. Yeah. I mean, is this, this is for like... easy pickings for us. We could even get a new little shuttle. Zygarde, so what race is what race are they? I have to know. Box is truly racist. Ah, uh, you don't know. Box is uh, fucking space telic over here. No, box is not. <laughs> No, she brought a bird on board. Yeah, no, no, no. But my box likes the birds, though. Okay. She she's a huge fan of Britney Sparrow. I mean. All right, right. She has uh, played that pigeon dating game a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Quill's like fire the ion laser, <laughs> and and it pushes a button. <laughs> <sighs> um, but you don't know what the buttons do. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's it's uh, pilot. <laughs> so you had your weapon console up. Yes. Okay. You're so going to blow this freaking oh, radio station oh, away. Oh, I to do. <laughs> you pushed a button. Yes. Oh boy, here we go. And you vented the entire <laughs> ship. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. You can roll shooting. <laughs> roll shooting? Did it actually fire? Or did it, did it just bring up the reload button? <laughs> roll shooting. Ammunition full. Oh, roll, roll shooting at a minus two. Um, okay. It's just greed is blinding you. That's why. That's the minus two right there. Oh, like this. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. oh, God. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> well, you don't hit the array. Yes! <laughs> uh, well, that's good. Okay, what gun did you shoot? Can you see the, uh, the Shai Shi character sheet? Oh, yeah, uh, let's see. Um, I just pushed a button, so I don't know. Well, but you roll so well that you get to choose. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, we have a dual linked light auto cannon. Uh, and a heavy MG. Keep in mind, uh, you can only shoot at the ones who are marked bow. Fixed bow. Oh, okay. Um, I guess it fired the dual linked auto cannons. Excellent. Uh, you wanna roll damage with a raise? Can you click that raise button? Uh, okay. Yeah. Show she character sheet on the weapons. There's sort of like a and then and then a roll. Yeah. <clears throat> Eight damage. That's Damn. really not all that good. <laughs> well, you, you roll a uh, use a penny. <clears throat> can't, you can't do any damage unless you oh. got a unless you got an edge. So, uh, you wanna hit something or do you wanna miss? Can I uh, choose? <laughs> yes, because you're also very fucking high. Well, uh, I, I guess he would want to hit something. So <laughs> not something. <laughs> Hold on. So, Not something. So, <laughs> someone. Specifics, please. Keep your priorities in order. Just fucking murder is fine. But don't break anything else. Well, I have to fix it afterwards. <laughs> That's the job. Okay. Okay. You hit the opposing ship. The okay. little shit. shit. <clears throat> and you hear over the comms, like, whoa, what the fuck? Was that? Okay, okay. Box wants to on like short range, on short range transmission, so we don't send it to, out to the universe. But she wants to yell in the comms. Arr! Your booty. Do I hear any of this? Roll intimidation. At a plus two. <laughs> uh, okay. How do I roll that? It's spirit linked to spirit. Uh, uh, oh yeah, you wait, get a plus. It? Yeah, you add a plus two, and I think that will bring it to neutral because you don't have intimidation, do you? That would bring me to neutral, but I also have charisma, so. Yeah, but they can't see you, so. All oh, right, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why I thought that would work. <laughs> um, so just a, should just a D4. <laughs> yeah, it's unskilled. 
Okay. So oh. it's a yeah yeah it's a D4 exactly. Okay, it's time time to Betty. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, you can't bet. Oh, Why are they oh, not no, no, scared? No. We just shot him. Oh my uh, god! That's actually not a critical fail because you already have a previous roll. Oh, okay, nice. So that's Wait, good for <laughs> you. No, I do It's not about necessarily scaring them. It's about like them thinking we're fucking pirates. <laughs> we shot them. How is this not working? But it was about oh, scaring them. It was about when they go back to the bo cares. bar, like if they're not dead and they get away in a jump or something, that they blame pirates and not fucking <laughs> <laughs> a competing repairmen. Does our ship look like a pirate ship? Um, Is our name on the ship? You uh, it uh, you can scan like there's. It's pretty common to like s just target and scan ships, and you get names. Can I override that? Uh, hold Can on. I distort our like uh, thing? Hold on, let's do this first. So <laughs> they aren't 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 intimidated. Uh, over the comms to here. Oh, what the fuck? We're getting shot at. Who the fuck? Who the fuck are these people? And then uh, the other guys get in there quick, and like, hey, uh, she, she hold your fire. We're just trying to repair the comms. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I I want to overwrite the the, the stupid like uh, signature. Is that possible? Can I you edit? Gotta it? Kill you now. Can, you you can, gotta. Uh, they know us. You got. You can roll security. Okay, I'm using my little computer. That's fine. Um, which I can't remember what I'm rolling for, so I'm gonna check that real quick. They already said the shy she, so don't they know? Well, we'll see. <laughs> So obviously they know, but you never know if they get a competing one. Uh, wait, equipment. Security. Right, right. Okay, so first. Okay, we'll just do this. This, I guess. Let's see what happens. Because that's one success, so I'll add a plus one to my roll. Yeah, but this is kind of a challenging thing to do, so you get two know. penalties. Two penalties? What's that? Uh, two minuses. Okay, so minus one then in total. Yep. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> My rolls well, are all good bad. today. My rolls are really, really bad today. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I should see. repair this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna break too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, the ship has started turning to, turning towards you. Well, uh, I see. Are you there? Hey, what the fuck do you shoot at us? Um, <laughs> box box shrugs and says, "Well, we're committed now." Uh. Quill, uh, Quill uh, uh, goes on the comms and says, My finger slipped. <laughs> Roll a persuasion. Is persuasion a thing? Yep. You don't have persuasion, you roll unskilled. Damn it. I would give you another minuses, but I'm fucking nice. Uh, what do I do for this? Not chips. I'm just unskilled. Is that a thing? Yeah. I think it's uh, there. there. Yay! So what the fuck are you kidding me? You don't slip. Oh, <laughs> you don't slip under the fire weapons button. You maniac! What the fuck are you here? I uh. I think we should kill them. <laughs> I think you should leave. Holy, holy shit. Well, we're already committed. We already mission shot Mission fucking we, failed. We can't, we can't complete the mission now, so what do we do? Why can't... Wait, what? Am I hearing any of this, like, while I'm just in the fucking living quarters? See, if you were... Co if you had joined... Uh, ever... <laughs> uh, you, you would can, hear everything. Uh, this is actually a first thing for many of you. The ship has fired its guns. 
and it you can kind of feel it throughout the entire ship. Wow. Can I like go into the fucking bridge and ask what the hell is happening? <laughs> I may have fired weapons. I ask why. There are weapons on this ship. I think uh, we he have guns. <laughs> I think that Helion would appear as well. And he says the Can famous Half-Life line, prepare for unforeseen consequences. <laughs> and, I like get on uh, comms with these fucking people. And uh, I think that... Um, or Helon says that you should kill him right now. This is really bad. To get away. <laughs> See, I agree with Helion. I'm gonna say we're already wanted for murder. Well, we can't just keep doing this. So, will you fucking respond already? Well, What's your deal? That's what you hear over the radio. Well, then again, if they have called for reinforcements or uh, uh, SOS signal and said our name, we are so fucked. I have an idea then. That's why I tried to edit this, but I couldn't do it. Well, maybe this idea won't work then. Can I get on comms with these people? <coughs> can you? Can I? Yes, I can. Oh. Oh, I hope you're doing what I think you're doing, because if... <laughs> Come in, unidentified flying vessel. I repeat, come in. Do you copy? Over. <clears throat> this is the USS Marines. <laughs> We're on the siege. <laughs> All right. Let me find something. Mm -hmm. Ahem. Come on, <laughs> little uh, internet link. Load up. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> he goes... Uh, this is really of the uh, NN 177. Will you please uh, explain to us why you uh, attacked us? Wait, what did he say his name was again? Willy. Right. If we don't talk to them, they won't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, shit, what was their ship's name? I want to know. NN 177. To the NN 100, please forgive us. We were, it was reported that space pirates would be attacking these... What are these things called? I whispered a box. Relays. Relays. So we were being very cautious. Who the fuck is your pilot? Uh, whoever I'm speaking to? Oh, he's breaking up! <laughs> <laughs> we Tell request a ceasefire. Tell him to uh, straighten up. <laughs> we will not stand for this. Our, empo our employer will uh, hear of this. But what did the shuttle do to the ship? Like, did it. Uh, it just kind of bounced off. But it was a really bad shot, so I feel like if we shoot again... <laughs> <laughs> we hear you loud and clear. It's the new guy. You have to understand. It's my, it's my first day. It's my first day. <laughs> He's going to be gone by tomorrow. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Thank fuck. Uh, so you're security? Why uh, exactly are you here? Um, we're here to fix these stations, over. Bullshit. We're here to fix this station. Box for the fucking contract. We got the job just, uh, three hours ago. We got the job six hours ago. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, it's like... And they start bickering over the channel. It's like, I can't believe this. Like, what the fuck? I thought this was a clear job. Box is gonna need that fucking contract if we're gonna have proof. Oh, uh, give the contract? I, I don't know. Did I have a contract? Do we have a contract? I guess I had a contract. 